How's it going everybody? Hope you're having a great day and uh, it's actually a beautiful sunny day here today. Um, we got about, I don't know, two inches of snow or so and uh, yeah it looks quite beautiful out. Actually I've got the skid steer up for sale right now. I, uh, I'm going to downsize to a, just a small uh, utility tractor um, just because I sold my, uh, my old business and I don't nearly have as many uh, clients here so that one's going up for sale but anyways the what I'm working on today is uh, the ATV trailer and uh, if you haven't uh, checked those videos out they're uh, all on my channel just go over and uh, you can there's a whole section for all the different ATV stuff that I've done and uh, this ATV trailer I built so um, I have this tire this was uh, this is an old rim I've just painted the rim and uh, it was just like a, I'll show you the the original tire that's the original tire like trailer tire right there and uh, I had these old ATV tires that came off the front of my ATV when I bought it and they are 25 by 3 or by 8 by 12 so they're a much better tire uh, they'll go better through the mud and uh, it'll raise the trailer up a little bit so I just got this one on and uh, I'm going to uh, do the other side and you guys can watch so We'll be back here in a minute when I go get the other tire off. Okay, so two tools you will need. There's a couple of pry bars. Um, and not every tire is going to be very easy to take off. The older tire that I did first is probably going to be easier than this one. But it's just take some time, have some patience, and eventually you'll get there. So you just want to start working your way around. Best thing first, you got to make sure that all the air is out of the tire. And the best thing is to remove the valve stem, which I can't find my valve stem remover right now, of course, so, but once you break the bead, the rest of the air will let go. And the best thing to do is use maybe a knee or your hand and push down on it, and then just kind of work your way around until you get it loose. Sometimes it can be a lot harder than others, and, but it's just about working at it until you can uh, get that bead broken off there. Sometimes uh, stomping on it on that one edge sometimes will help. You can use the heel and uh, you just want to break that seal. It's not always that easy. Okay, so once you have the bead broken, what you want to do is just kind of keep working it around. I'm not going to lie, I had to shut the camera off and uh, work at that. That took me about uh, 10 minutes to get that bead broken off there. It would be great if I had a bead breaker, but I don't. So I like to improvise. So now that I've got this, I just want to keep going all the way around, break that bead off there, then flip it over, do the same thing on the back side. And you okay. Now I don't know if I'd recommend this with a brand new tire. It uh, already I've got almost 40 minutes in just breaking the bead on this one tire. I did the whole other tire, put it all back on in 15 minutes. So after a tire has weak sidewalls and everything, it just comes off so much easier. This was a complete headache. Literally, I have a headache because of it. Um, so now that I've got all this done, what you want to do is get it. The best thing to do is have something like like these big vice opening vice grips. Pinch it in the center. And what this does is in the middle of the rim, there it, it's a lot uh, more shallow. So when you go to pull the tire off, this will keep, allow it to go into that groove a lot easier. So then you just get started on one side, pull it up over like so, and then just kind of keep working your way around. Once you get one done, then you just keep working as you go. And don't try to take too much at a time, or it'll, uh, it won't work so well. And 
and there we go. The rim is out. Finally, that was a royal pain in the butt to get that off. That is a brand new tire, so. But uh, I'm gonna take a couple of seconds, get this rim cleaned up, and get the bead on the tire cleaned up, and we'll be right back. Okay, so now that I got it all cleaned up, I'm gonna start working on putting it back in. Normally, you can just kind of push it until it gets to a point where it's not gonna want to go in for you anymore. And then you just want to slowly work it around and, uh, and get it in there. There we go. Now, now that the rim's in there, sometimes it will uh, pop the bead for you right away and sometimes it can be not so easy. So, we'll get the air hooked up on here. Okay, so I got it so it's starting to seal here, so you'll hear the bead actually snap in. But what you want to make sure you don't do is over inflate the tire. Oh, there goes one. Oh, there it goes. It's kind of loud. You definitely want to make sure you don't got your fingers in there because off goes your finger. It would crush your finger and not think twice of it. So there you go, all seated on the on the rim now. I'm just gonna check the air in it. I run these about 10 pounds. There we go. And it's as simple as that. I'm gonna get this rim cleaned up and then I'll uh, give you a quick shot of, uh, of it on the trailer. Okay, well, there it is all done and installed on the trailer. So they look awesome i'm really impressed how that turned out and uh, they're gonna just float over the snow and uh through the mud so should be a lot better on the trail so but uh thanks for checking out this video and uh subscribe if you're not a subscriber if you would and um click that like button if you could the thumbs up and uh, we'll talk to everybody soon have a great day